Hey, welcome to the newest pad video. So we have a 2014 Audi A6 uh, with a two liter turbo, a little four cylinder engine. Came in with a check engine light with a uh, camshaft crankshaft correlation fault code. So just to give you a little uh, catching up, we, we've already performed the oscilloscope work, uh, checking waveforms. Uh, we found that the uh, water pump, which is on the side of the engine, uh, under the intake, it had leaked coolant onto the crankshaft position sensor. Okay, so the water pump had leaked engine coolant onto the crankshaft position sensor. So that was the first thing we replaced uh, because the uh, the connection and terminals were heavily corroded. All right, so we got a new crank position sensor in, in there, got a new good waveform, and then we were able to see the stretch timing chain on the oscilloscope waveform. So fast forward, we've got it all taken apart. We've got our cam tools, cam locks in place and we have the chain removed. So this is the old chain, a little darker in color, and this is a new chain. And this chain did come from our local Audi dealer. And it is the latest part number. So if we hold them side by side, you can see the chain on the right, which is the one that we removed, that it is slightly longer. It is stretched and it is slightly longer. So. Let's move on into here and you'll be able to see that loose chain in there, how it's already ground into the cylinder head. Fortunately, it looks like it's not gonna be a detrimental issue, but there were signs of it right there. And if we look a little under, this is the engine block. You can see the shiny part here. That's where the timing chain had been grinding into the engine block itself because of all the loose slack or the slack on this side of the chain. So the tension comes in from this side. This side does not have a tensioner causing the slack and eating into the timing chain. So once we get it all back together, we'll show you what it looks like when it's back together and properly timed. All right, so now I wanna show you with a new timing chain and guide installed. So we got a new timing chain tensioner we got a tensioning guide, we got this guide rail here, and we also got this guide rail up here. All three of those will replace the tensioner as well, and a new chain. Okay, so if you notice right here on your exhaust camshaft, you have a notch and there's a colored, looks like maybe brass or copper in color link, chain link, and it should line up with the notch in the pulley. Same here, link lines up with the mark in the pulley on the intake camshaft. Now, if we go to the bottom down here, you'll see this copper link that lines up with a arrow in the crankshaft pulley. So as long as those three colored links are lined up with their corresponding timing mark, this engine is mechanically in time. So what we'll do is I'll put in the description of this video, a link for those guys that want to see the oscilloscope pattern because we're gonna scope this thing again when we get it back together. So if you wanna see an old, bad, uh, or a faulty waveform, and you wanna see a good waveform right beside each other uh, in a same very short video, we're gonna put a link in the description to AT our friend out at ATR Guide. So he's gonna be a part of this, ATR Guide. And we'll put a link to his video, and it'll be this car, this engine, this case study, and it will show the waveforms with a faulty or stretched timing chain versus a waveforms, and I'm saying crankshaft and camshaft position sensor waveforms with a new timing chain. But anyway, thanks for watching the pad video. I hope this was helpful.